A massive mob of Israeli settlers invaded the Palestinian town of Tuwani in the occupied West Bank. Settlers invaded this privately owned Palestinian garden at 5 in the morning under the pretext of performing a religious ritual. The military arrived first, locking down the village, blocking off roads, and setting up soldiers with assault rifles on Palestinian rooftops. Then the settlers arrived, many of whom were armed and some half-dressed in military uniforms. The settler mob were escorted by the Israeli military as they rode into this Palestinian town on buses. Not only was the family who owns the garden locked in their homes for the duration of this ritual, but so was the entire town of Tuwani. The Palestinians stayed up all night in anticipation, knowing that nothing good ever comes from a settler invasion. Palestinians watched on as they performed their ceremony unbothered. Many wondered how long until Israel would use the alleged archaeological site in the Palestinian garden as the pretext for the forcible displacement of the entire village. A common tactic used to expel Palestinians and steal more of their land. One that was used to displace the neighboring town of Susia, a Palestinian village that was forcibly displaced in the 1980s, only to be replaced with a Jewish-only Israeli settlement. Around 7.30, the settlers left, and a brave young girl waved a Palestinian flag at the retreating soldiers who in return pointed their guns and raised an Israeli flag. This is what ethnic cleansing looks like. 